How's it going, everybody? Today, we're going to be looking at the first look of Atlas. Atlas has been officially announced today. And oh my goodness, he looks so hype. If you look at his card art, oh, that's so, that's just so awesome, man. Um, yeah, but here's, here's a trailer. Let's start off by watching the trailer, and then we're going to look at a little bit of information that they wrote up on Atlas. They have not released his full kit yet, but they released some ideas, which I think is awesome. But let's watch the trailer. I love these cinematics Cyrus has been doing. Good stuff. Oh my god. Oh, he's such a big boy. Oh, oh that's so hype. Oh, Atlas is going to be so fun to play. Uh, but yeah, December 2021. Um, Atlas is a guardian, which is why I am doing this when I usually don't do this for most gods or patch notes or whatever. Um, but no, Atlas... Atlas, I mean, hey, he looks fun to play in Duel. Let's start off with that. But uh, let's start off by... Uh, let's show all of this. Well, not all of this. But I'm going to skip the lore on Atlas, if that's all right with you guys. It's a lot of text. And if you guys want to read up on it, I, uh, the website will be in the description. But Atlas basically is cursed to hold up the sky, and I guess you could say the cosmos forever, um, if you don't know anything about him. But he's pretty awesome. Uh, this is kind of a new one for Smite, and they talk about it in the post, because I guess Atlas is technically a titan? That I didn't know. Um, but this kind of breaks that whole thing where titans are only meant to be as the titans you have as defending um on chaos and order side of smite and if you don't know those titans are actually named in smite like if you go into this the files i believe one is chronos with a k and i can't remember the other one if someone remembers the other one please type it in the comments or i'll put a highlighted comment but yeah they're actually named in the files so those titans are the ones you attack and defend uh but this is going to be a first playable character as a titan which is hype but let's skip the lore if you want to read it you can but let's go to the core themes theme Perseverance. Atlas at his core is a myth about never giving up, about enduring through impossible challenges. He was given a near impossible task that he upheld for a millennia. That's awesome. Okay. I mean, you could see that in his face. Perseverance. Yeah. Visuals. Cosmic strength. Atlas is solid as rock, unflinching and extremely strong. How else would someone be able to hold such weight for so long? He also has a close connectivity to the concepts of space, the cosmos, or the universe. Okay. Personality experience. Atlas has been through a lot. He was born into direct strife between his brothers and his father. He fought the gods of Olympus and then watched the entire planet develop from afar. He carries all of this with him on the battleground. Perspective, ancient. The Titans are seldom seen or heard from. Atlas was all but forgotten by Zeus and the modern gods of Smite of the Smite universe. He is a relic of the past, or so they thought. Okay. Yeah, no, I, I can see that. I can see those themes. Okay, cool. Uh let's go a little bit about this. Okay, so Atlas has extremely iconic look, holding up a massive orb, which there are many famous artworks of it, and it was obviously something we grasped as a major theme. Okay. Due to these artworks, there is a common misconception that Atlas holds the Earth on his back. What this is actually supposed to be is a spherical astrolobe. Astrolabe? Astrolabe. Astrolabe. A tool for measuring the cosmos, which represents the cosmos itself in depictions of Atlas. We start off with the idea of Astrolabe being a key focal point for the Cosmic Titan. Earlier iterations of Atlas experimented with some other otherworldly body types, extra limbs, floating body, non-human faces were all considered, but ultimately ruled out as they just didn't feel like Atlas. Atlas is pretty clearly described and depicted as having a traditional human form. We felt confidently we could deliver something that was impressive without him being, without more wild physical features. Good call. Good call. I mean, it would be cool to have a, some sort of giant monster, like, you know, kind of like Cthulhu, almost. Oh, here's this with four limbs. That's pretty cool. But I do think 
true Atlas is meant to be just giant holding up the sky. Uh, I, I think that's pretty hype. I, I'm, I'm glad they went with that. That's cool. That's cool. Okay. Here's a little bit of concept art. Um, so what are the phys physical features that we decide on for Atlas? He is big. Yes. All Smite Titans are much larger than our normal gods. Atlas won't be a big... Uh, as big as them for gameplay reasons but he will be taller than the average god with his astral lape adding a significant amount of height on top of that he is also stone skinned is a in a myth relating to perseus atlas was turned to stone this gave the feature this gave the character a unique look which separated him from the olympians while also being a nod to a specific myth okay cool sorry if i misread things i, I do have a little bit of a stutter um if i'm like excited about something so i'm kind of excited about uh atlas also my green screen is messing up for, forgive me for that just uh the lighting in here was good with the sun and now the sun's behind a cloud so um yeah uh, no that's awesome i think they did a really good job with that the hair is kind of like the cosmos like or is it just blue i don't know i think it's might be both might be both Okay, so here's uh, more concept art. I love seeing these concept arts, like seeing how they came up with it kind of through the process. Sometimes they give more uh, images. Okay, we might skip through a little bit of this. His hair became cosmic as a symbol of the endless space he had carried for so long. We like the cosmic hair so much that the final model actually has a cosmic beard and eyebrows as well. <laughs> okay, there it is. Gameplay. Atlas is a traditional guardian focused around crowd control and bolstering allies or hindering enemies. Uh, he is designed specifically to be a dual lane guardian. Although we fully expect players and pros to try him in the solo lane, he will likely struggle there. Atlas can be played in aggression fashion, setting up kills for his teammates, but he can also play it as a true peel guardian. We believe that he could be flexible his playstyle while being still being a support. So that's good for the game. That's good for the game. Uh, true supports are always awesome to add. Smite, for example, true supports, I think of like Capri is a true support. Ganesh is a true support. Horus is kind of a true support. But then you see Ymir, which, hey, I love Ymir. But Ymir is not really like, I guess nowadays he is. He used to not be. Let's, let's think of a better example. Uh, let's think of Cerberus or Cthulhu. Like, I wouldn't say they're true supports. They mostly support through damage. Oh, and they're mostly solo lane characters, right? And th that makes him better for duel. So if they're saying this, that they he bolsters allies, then his abilities might not be that useful in duel. And again, duel's what I care about. Um, but I'll, I'll make him work. That, he, he, looks, he's too, he looks so fun to play. Again, we don't know his abilities yet. So here's what they teased about his kit. The Astrolabe is Atlas's primary unique gameplay feature, and it heavily influences the rest of his kit. The Astrolabe is the first smite weapon with true object performance and transference. When most gods throw their weapon, it's just an ethereal copy. But when Atlas does it, the weapon actually leaves him, changing his animation set and abilities. Okay, that's cool. So like when Anher uses his two and he throws his spear, he doesn't actually lose his spear. He keeps his spear or like Odin or I don't know, any god like that. Atlas can throw his astrolabe with his first ability to deploy it to a location. While deployed, Atlas base attacks and second ability will swap to types of attacks. Atlas base attacks are slower and heavier than average when holding his weapon and become range AoE attacks around the deployed astrolabe when he is not holding it. Range AoE attacks? Ooh, that's hype. Atlas base attacks can also become empowered into a heavy slam with soft CC through his passability. Okay, so he sounds like an auto attack guardian with some CC. I mean, not actual auto attack guardian, but I mean, like, sounds like his auto attacks are pretty hefty and pretty awesome. So that's good. Atlas can pick up and throw enemy gods with a not ultimate ability. Oh, can he just like... <laughs> oh, that'll be makes up for so many fun combos. I can't wait until bmt find something with that atlas has an an ultimate that is both a large aoe damage and debuff area as well as a global range skill shot that's cool that's hype i i, I would love to see the animation for what that is i'm very much looking forward to atlas 
Smite Season 8 will be ending with the much-awaited Guardian for the year. We know players have been eagerly awaiting for a new support, and we only wish we could have gotten him to you sooner. December is the time for giving and caring, so why not become a support main and aid your allies on the battleground with Atlas? Surely the burden carrying your team <laughs> can't be as heavy as the burden of the entire universe, can it? That's a good joke. That's a good one. Yeah, high res, this looks, this looks awesome. This looks amazing. Good stuff. So, uh, yeah, you hear um, I'll put a link to the cinematic and everything in the description. Let me know your guys' thoughts. And, uh, yeah, I'm super hyped for this. I hope you guys are as well. And I will, I will see you guys next time. Bye, buddy. Oh, also, when they release this kit, I will release another video on it right away. But, yeah, have a good day, everybody.